Hey guys, I thought I would show you how I organize our family. This is sort of a goof proof method. Um, I'm not cool enough to do like Excel sheets that itemize your total annual budget for, you know, I, I, I'm just not that great. I have to write something down with pen and paper to have it stamp into my brain and it needs to be somewhat simple and sloppy in order for it to work for me. So here's how I do it. First, three ring binder. Inside I have a calendar that's removable. So that way I can take this with me without having to take this whole big chunky book. The calendar, by the way, songs are brought to you by Scarlett in her swing. The calendar is a one look calendar where I can write everything down and Ryan and I can both see it everything on one page. Nobody has to flip anywhere, nobody has to go look at any special files to figure out what he's doing, what I'm doing. Everything from our appointments to visitors to trips out of town to meal planning to the baby's milestones all get written here. Now let's say that she learned to roll over on the 13th. That would be a little bit of a late bloomer since this is 2012, but we'll pretend. Um, I can chicken scratch it in here and then later when I have my free time and I can whip out my quill and calligraphy skills and go write it in her baby book beautifully, then I already know when it happened without having to, you know, do too much effort. As far as meal planning goes, let's pretend that I went shopping on the 8th. I will know, let's say I got seven meals that I could make out of that meal or that grocery experience. I will write them in but I can't say like Tuesday is taco night because if Tuesday rolls around and I don't feel like cooking or I don't feel like tacos, I'm just going to blow it and then I feel like my whole schedule is blown. So what I do is um, I'll write, let's say we had chicken parmesan. I will um, say the chicken parmesan ingredients may last me to the 27th. So I'll write it anywhere in between now and the 27th and then I can make it any day and just cross it off once I've made it or use the ingredients. Also that way you'll have all of your meals um, that you want to make written down in here and you don't have to go look through your refrigerator or pantry trying to figure out what's left and that sort of thing. So that is my calendar. I like having the tabbed months. The second half of the calendar is a checklist um, or I mean a note section and I am all about to-do lists. I like to make them as long as possible so that I can check things off and feel super accomplished. So lots and lots of note pages which I really need and love. Next is business card holders. Um, that I put in our gift cards. If I don't feel like cooking, I can look and see what dinner options we have here, or if we need a fancy date night to Applebee's. <laughs> um, I've never been to Applebee's. Or no, I've never been to Chili's. I don't know, they're the same thing. Anyway, so I don't like to have my wallet get really bulky. I just keep Starbucks and Jamba Juice, things like you can go on the fly. I keep those in my wallet, the rest go in here. So gift cards, more gift cards. Then coupons. Some people have entire binders devoted to coupons or coupons. Uh, mine is just a couple folders. So I've got one that has ones that are going to expire this week and month, and next that has ones that expire beyond this month. Miscellaneous has things like a scratch ticket that Ryan gave me for Christmas that I still haven't cashed in. He put that in my stocking. I probably have $2 that I want or something. And then things in magazines I saw that I liked and perfume samples and, you know, miscellaneous. This site is miscellaneous too, but I have used it to print out or to put in Groupons and other deals like that that people have given to us that they printed out. I just didn't throw that away. It came with the book. This is uh, Ryan's folder, things that he needs to look at and take care of. Same for me, things that I've looked at but haven't really had time to go through or take care of yet. Take care of me are things like cards to send out to friends, prescriptions that need to be filed, that kind of deal. In process are things that we have done our end of it on our family side and now we're waiting back for an outside company to respond. Like our insurance has not yet put Scarlet on it and we are not going to pay $10,000 bills that are addressed to Scarlet that don't reflect insurance. So those are in process. Um, this section, now you can easily make this system so far. You would just need a three ring binder and file folders with pockets as well as a calendar. Uh, as far as this goes, if you wanted to do this, you just go to mead, M E A D com or Google and Google will take you to freeprintablecalendars.com or anything like that and you can print out calendars and you can even customize them the way you like. What I do is this folder holds all calendars for the month of March. I mean sorry all bills. All bills for the month of March go in here. However only bills that were paid that are unusual get written down. Like we don't have an anesthesia bill every single month. Utilities don't get written down in here but anything that was unique to that month does. Next is receipts. We put all receipts in this pocket without even looking at it. If Ryan forgets to bring home a receipt and stuff it in there, then we just write down a guesstimated amount of how much he spent and where. And I do not 
do anything other than tally these up at the end of the month to see how much we spent just to see how wasteful we are really and then I can see if we do better some months and you know maybe I'll be able to make an improvement somehow with that we'll see I've just started doing that these are our budget sheets. I put out a, a blank one here for you. You can print these at mead.com, like I said. Um, it has a checklist, and the way I use this checklist different than my own to-do list is, let's say this is the month of April and grandma's birthday is in April, so buy grandma a gift would go in there. Or maybe in April I have to pay car insurance, so pay car insurance would go in there. But things like take out the trash or paint my nails that I do not specific to the month of April, they don't go in there. Then the rest are normal budget sheets, and I'll let you go to mead.com if you're interested in this. It just has all of your family budgeting information. If you uh, want something more specified, Candid Mommy is one of those people that's cooler than I am as far as organizational and she's just amazing. You can go to her um, uh, channel and she has some personalized printable ones so you can look those up there. So the next part is back to bills again. Next tab section is our family meal planner. In here I have easy meals that I make so I don't have to think. <laughs> I can go look and try and see what I make because I don't like to have to think and remember anything. Um, and then I have a, oh, this should actually be in the back. I'll talk about that in a second. It's another business card holder. But then I have a removable meal planner. Now this thing is so awesome for a couple of reasons. One, if you're a messy person like I am when you're cooking, um, I keep this out, put my recipe right in front of it, and then when I'm cooking, I can splatter sauces and spill things and go crazy, and I can just wipe this down at the end and everything stays tidy and nobody's the wiser. I subscribe to a website called The Six O'Clock Scramble, but you can do the same thing at allrecipes.com. I only subscribe to this. I had to pay for it, but it was because it was on a Groupon. I think it was like $8 or something for six months. So what it does is you go find recipes on the website that you like, like here's a recipe I liked and you put them in your recipe box and then it creates a grocery list based off of the recipes that you compiled so and it keeps them in order of how they're organized at the grocery store so it's wonderful then I write in extra things that I have coupons for or I planned on buying and I do a guesstimated tally that's just so if you're doing like a, a cash only method you can make sure you have enough cash on you and I always go over so that when it only costs 75 bucks I can throw myself a parade so um, then I have this organized by month so that I can just sort of stuff the recipes in a section. If I love, love, loved the recipe, then it goes in my recipe box and I will fill out a recipe card. This is something that will be an heirloom to go to Scarlet someday. Um, if I didn't love the recipe, but I might want to make it again if I have the ingredients on hand, then I just leave it in this thing or I can look it back up on the internet. No big deal. So, like I said, business card holder goes behind that. That has things like our pediatrician and our dentist and things, business cards in it. Pulled it out since it's family sensitive information. I took the cards out. And last is a pouch. The pouch has stamps, a uh, calculator, notes, a pen, and tabs for tabbing the book. You gotta have a calculator if you're using the cash only method at the grocery store too. So that is our family binder. It works for me. It is not as organized and on top of it as other people are. If you want that, you can look on YouTube, just type in like couponing binder and you will see some amazing like trading card baseball deals. I also keep a pocket calendar, <laughs> but that's extra credit. You don't have to do that. <laughs> this stays in the diaper bag and I just like it because the little cartoons and stuff, it's kind of like a grown up toy. All right, thank you guys. That's our family organization.